We originally started selling sanitizer with just basically our, our ethanol that we end up making vodka out of with baby oil in it. As it progressed, we realized that this was going to be a longer process and we were going to be in this for a while. We started making FDA and TTB approved hand sanitizer. We switched gears 100% into uh, making sanitizer for local fire departments, police departments, um, and many more places. We had some concerns about the spacing requirements and uh, frequently changing regulations. So we just opted to stay closed. One of our friends in the medical distribution company got a hold of us. We were talking about it and said they just couldn't get any hand sanitizer and they were struggling to get PPE early on. So we got in touch with another friend of ours uh, in the chemical industry who produced hand sanitizer and shipped it to us. We were able to package it and uh, send it on to the distribution channels. And uh, we've made lemonade out of lemons. This is our lemon scented hand sanitizer. We sold 140,000 bottles so far this year. We uh, laid off our interior staff for their safety and to allow them to collect the federal bonus on employment. By May, when landscaping could start, uh, we were ready to start bringing back some of our interior staff, and I'm so grateful that folks were ready to start coming back um, and were willing to do the temperature checks, the sanitation, the mask wearing, and all the things that we required and for their safety and, and the safety of those around them. Most of our events are large weddings. Our team implemented um, disinfectants, uh, PPE stations, sneeze guards, but we did it in a manner that didn't take away from what the brides and grooms had decorated and what they've been planning for sometimes um, years. Tech has that capability to make things just a little bit easier in a decidedly difficult world. We focused on keeping ourselves and our customers safe from the physical health around the pandemic, as well as safety on the cybersecurity front. The biggest thing we're doing is making sure we reach out more often, calling monthly, sometimes weekly, to see how people are doing. See what's changed or what can be made even 1% better week over week over week. Oftentimes, I'm looking through these little glasses with a very, very microscopic uh, look on this. But when I look at the big picture of the pandemic and our business, I see this as an investment we've made long term with our team. The ability for our team to focus on the mission of trying to help patients take one step further toward optimal health each and every visit. One of the questions we ask each patient is, how are you feeling in regards to your ability to fend off the detrimental effects if you are to meet the virus? And what can we do to help you? It was amazing to be able to pivot. I am so grateful for not only the chamber, but also for national and regional and local groups, as well as county health departments, for all the information that was shared so willingly. We go home at the end of the day tired from wearing masks and taking all these extra precautions, for sure tired but really gratifying knowing we've made a big difference.